Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a very short video for you today that will show you how to create web forms on GetResponse. Just before I show you that, um, you can click a link in the description for this video that will take you through to a free trial version of GetResponse. So if you want to give it a go at any point, then make sure that you click that link down below after you've watched the video, of course. So as you can see, I'm on the dashboard here. When you first log in, this will be the screen that you see. And to create a web form, whatever you need it for, is hidden under the Tools menu. So it looks a little bit different now than what it used to, get response if you've ever seen it before. And then you've got the ability to go to Tools and then right down there, you'll see that the option for Forms. So you've got then this little wizard that takes you through the process of building a form and you can see that you've got a bunch of templates here that you can access um you know and, and utilize so I'd, I'd highly recommend doing that as opposed to creating one from scratch and you've got a bunch of you know categories to kind of narrow down your search results a little bit as well as a text-based search here as well so you know, whether it be an event sign up or whatever it is that you're kind of looking for, try and find something, then you can easily replace the images and, you know, try and look for something that has got the layout that you want, maybe the information that, you know, is, is almost all there. And say so if you like the kind of style of this one, for example, then you click, you know, modify that template. And then you've got the ability then to change everything that it says on here, as well as the basic, you know, color scheme and you can add some new fields if you've got some more information that you want to you know gather on your users or client you can just drag and drop them in and um yeah that's pretty much it you know you've got a couple of, of settings here at the top as well that i'd recommend making sure um obviously what list is going to be connected to um you know another couple of you know basic options there that you've got that you can use to set up your form Make sure that you preview your form on mobile, okay? Because the vast majority of traffic that you're going to get, in, in in particular emails, is going to be on a mobile device. And you can construct it to look great on a desktop version, and then it doesn't necessarily mean that it translates to mobile that well. So make sure that you're kind of previewing it there on mobile and give it a preview as well, you know, so you've got it sort of full screen and it, you can kind of interact with it. And as you, if you were an end user and, you know, have a look at it, experience what it's like to use it. Once you're happy with it, then you can hit publish and then that will uh, give you some of the, the, you know, the code that you need to install that form. Then you can just copy that form and paste that into your website, wherever you want it housed or wherever you want to embed it. That concludes the tutorial. That's how to create a web form on GetResponse. If you want to give it all a go now, then click that link in the description down below and that'll take you through to a free trial version of it. If you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of this nature, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any suggestions for future videos, leave them as comments down below. Thank you very much.